Welcome back to another Microbit tutorial. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at creating a blinking LED with the use of a function. Now our function in today's program is going to be getting our LED to blink repeatedly. Now what a function really is, is a named section of a program that can perform a specific task. We often use that when we need a specific task to happen multiple times throughout a program or just to hide unnecessary code. So we're going to go ahead and looking at using our light level in order to get our LED to be triggered on when it should be turning on and off. So the first thing we're going to need to do is create the blink. And the blink is pretty simple. We just want our LED to turn on for a second and then turn off for a second. So we're going to go ahead and do that in a function. So in order to do that, we're going to go down under our advanced tools and find our function tab. Once you select your function tab, we're going to need to go ahead and make a function. Once you select make a function, we're going to go ahead and give this a name. We're just going to go ahead and call this the blink. Now, once we go ahead and select done, you're going to notice that we now have a new event handler in our program. So we still have our forever loop, but we also now have our function, which is our blink. And this is where we want to create that actual function or that blinking um, code. So what we're going to go ahead and do is basically turn our LED on. And as you notice that we're going to go ahead and connect my LED to pin zero and it is a digital sensor. So we're going to go ahead down to our pin drawer. We're going to find our digital right pin and we're going to go ahead and put that digital right pin to zero and we're going to turn it on by changing our zero to a one. We then need to go to our basic drawer and tell it how long we want it to stay on for. So we're going to simply use a pause and we're going to switch that from 100 milliseconds over to one second or a thousand milliseconds. Now after that thousand milliseconds, we're going to want that LED to turn off. So we could just simply go ahead and duplicate that digital right pin and we're going to go ahead and swap that one for a zero. Don't forget that we also need to tell it how long to stay off for. So we're going to go ahead and duplicate that pause block. Now that we have our function, we need to have a way to be able to call that. And that's going to only occur if our condition is actually true. Now, in this case, we're going to use a light level and our light level can go anywhere from zero to 255 since we are using the light level that is built into the micro bit. Now we're going to go ahead and create a conditional statement. So we're going to go under our logic and we're just going to go ahead and find an if statement for today. Now in our if statement, we basically want to know if the light level is below a certain value then we should be able to call that function. So we're going to go ahead and use another comparison block under logic and we're going to use the less than. We're going to go ahead and call our light level which is found under your input drawer and we're going to go ahead and say if the light level is below a specific value. Now where I'm at right now it is pretty dark in the room so my light level really doesn't get below 40 even with the lights turned on. So we're going to go ahead and say if the light level is below 40, then I want my function to run. Now, in order to call your function, we're going to go back under the function drawer, and now we have this call blink. Now, we can test this on the emulator to see what actually happens. In this case, it's already set at 128. So if we go ahead and change that, we should be able to see the difference or pin zero light up once this gets below 40. So if we go ahead and drag that up, you're going to notice that now pin zero is turning on and off. We don't need to create a shutoff for this because the second that this gets back above 40, it's going to execute the last line of code, which is basically turning your LED off anyway. So if we take a look at that code, you're going to notice that after we go ahead and call that digital write pin zero to zero, it's not going to do anything else. So we don't need to worry about adding an else statement or an else if statement to this actual program. Now the next step is to go and actually test this and see how it works on your micro bit. So we're going to go ahead and download this program to our micro bit. And as that's downloading, let's go ahead and take a look and see what it actually looks like. Now at this moment, what you'll notice is that I have a light shining directly on the micro bit. So we should be getting a value that is above 40. And that's why we can see that our LED is not actually turning on at this point. Now our light level is located right in the middle of our LED board. And the second that it gets dark in the room, what we should see is that LED blink. 
So if we turn the light off, what we should honestly see is that blinking LED occurring. And that's going to keep going. As long as it's dark in the room or the value is below 40, that LED is just going to continue to blink. Once that light gets turned back on, then we should see that LED turn off and stay off until it gets dark again. So there you have the use of a function when trying to create a blinking LED.